So which of these gentlemen looks the oldest? Image number one, two, three, or four? Well, actually, that's a trick question because they're all AI-generated images. I mean, technically, when this video goes live, they're all just a few days old. But seriously, gents, as you can see from the visuals, facial hair can have a huge effect on the perception of a man's age. Seriously, when you were in college, who did you send to the counter to buy the beer? But here's the deal. Once you're in your 30s, 40s, 50s, you don't want your beard to age you. And one of the biggest mistakes guys make when they're growing a beard that makes them look older than what they are, they ignore the skin underneath. Gents, neglecting the skin underneath your beard can lead to dryness and irritation. Poor skin health can lead to a dull and aged appearance. Now, the trick here is to wash, exfoliate, and moisturize as you normally would as if you didn't have a beard. And by the way, this problem can be really bad if you've had this beard for a number of years. The reason being is your skin has changed, it's aged, but your habit of neglecting the skin underneath hasn't. Now, the next mistake that's going to age you, an overly long beard. Now, let's be clear. I got nothing against the beard. Seriously, if you want to let that thing grow out, go for it. But gents, when you start looking like Gandalf the Grey, that beard is going down past your stomach. It's scraggly. It's all over the place. Guys, this is a beard out of control. By the way, if you got a beard like Gandalf the White, you're safe. And with those length issues, let's talk about unevenness. So, a lot of guys, when they're growing out a beard, are surprised at how uneven it grows on their face. Seriously, who knew that your left side would grow not only faster, but fuller? Yeah, because on top of that, most of us are going to deal with patchiness when we're growing a beard. Basically, you got these bald spots, these parts of the face that don't grow hair very very quickly or evenly. Now, when it comes to patchiness, you just want to power through it. But with the uneven growth, you do want to trim it. You do want to balance it out. And gents, if you're in the market for a beard trimmer, you need to check out Brio's Beardscape V2. Now, gentlemen, Brio is the sponsor of today's video, but I've talked about them for years because I love the quality that these guys manufacture. Seriously, over the years, I've looked at a lot of different trimmers. When it comes to a body and beard trimmer, the Beardscape V2 is quite possibly the best on the market. And Brio backs it up with a two-year worry-free warranty. Now, what I love with these trimmers is how much control you have. We're talking with the regular blade, you can get down to one millimeter. You want it a little bit longer, you can adjust to 1.3. And the blades on the Beardscape V2 are interchangeable. And if you want to get closer, check out their Zero Blade. Which, by the way, gents, if you use the link in today's video and you go over to Brio, not only are you going to get the best deal on the web for Brio, but you're going to get that $25 zero blade thrown in absolutely free. And whether you have a beard, whether you just simply are looking for your next body trimmer that's not going to cut out on you, go check out the Brio Beardscape V2. And gents, if you're traveling, if you're on the road for a while and you take this with you, one thing I love is that they've got an airplane mode so it doesn't turn on accidentally. And you get 240 minutes of use on each charge. Seriously, gents, that's four hours of continuous use. Although I find personally I can get the job done in a few minutes. For body grooming, what I love is the fact I've got full control and it's also got this no slip grip, which is really important again when you're taking care of the boys, when you're getting down close in intimate areas. So, again, gents, for the best beard trimmer on the market with that free zero blade, check out the Brio Beardscape V2. I'm linking to it down in the description with the best deal you're going to find on the web. Use it or lose it. This deal is not going to be around forever. Go over to Brio. Check them out. Awesome company. Next mistake, gents, neglecting the neckline. Now, gents, we've all heard the legend of a neck beard. But the reality is, gents, Neckbeard didn't set out to become a meme. He was just a busy guy and he went a few days or maybe a week without trimming the neckline on his beard. Now, some guys when they're growing their facial hair are gifted with a neckline that doesn't need much maintenance. But for others, that's an area that needs regular maintenance because it gets out of control fast. Now, there is some confusion as to where the neckline starts. I'm going to define it as above the Adam's apple. Now, everything below that, depending on your hair growth, I think, you know, every couple days or almost every day for some of you guys, you're going to want to go over that and clean it up. You can use a trimmer. You can use a razor. Point is, just get it done. Now, what about above the beard? Let's talk about the often forgotten about cheek line. Now, again, some guys genetically don't even have to worry about this. Other guys, well, let's just say that you've got enough hair on your cheeks that if you didn't trim it, you wouldn't be able to see. Seriously, you Wookiees out there, I feel for you. It's a full-time job keeping that hair at bay. <laughs> Now, what about just letting the beard express itself up there? What about letting it grow higher? Well, the problem is this high cheek line makes the face look wider and less defined, which overall creates an older looking appearance. Again, not necessarily a bad thing if you're 25, but if you're 55, going out with a woman who's 30 and you don't want people to mistake you for her dad, these small details can make a difference and help you look younger. Next up, let's talk about dry 
brittle looking beards. So, for a lot of guys, a dry beard is going to look wiry and unhealthy. The solution though here is pretty simple. You want to experiment with moisturizers. It could be as simple as a conditioner that you use on your beard when you're in the shower, or it may be a beard oil that you put on afterwards or a combination of the two. And experiment with beard balms. These can bring instant life to dried out facial hair. The key here is to change things up and try something new. Most likely, when you were younger, your beard grew in and it looked good. Now that you're a little bit older, your hair has changed. As such, your beard requires a little bit of help, so give it the help it needs. Now, what about neglecting the mustache? What about neglecting the lips? So, I'm going to go ahead and throw these two together, but understand that the hair on your face grows in different directions. Seriously, on the chart you can see here, hair grows in all different directions and it's different for each guy. This is just a generalization. But the point is this, the hair on your face is going to behave in different ways depending on what part of the face it sprouts from. Now, above the lip, the hair there known as the mustache, this hair usually grows in a downward and outward fashion. However, it can be some of the thickest and most difficult to manage. So, don't be surprised if you have to use a different product on the hair above your lip to be able to get the look, the style that you're going for. And on top of that, you got to be vigilant about the length. Now, in general, I think most guys are pretty good about this because when it is too long, it's getting in your mouth. But if you're on a trip, you leave your trim and scissors at home, sometimes you can let that thing get a little bit out of control. And in that case, you should probably go see a barber. Now, seeing a barber, seeing a professional, I left a little bit later in the video because I get it, most guys on a week weekly basis are not going to go see a barber when it comes to their beard, when it comes to their facial hair. But let me ask the question, have you ever gone to see a professional? Have you seen a professional in the last year to talk about your beard and the styles that suit you? If the answer is no, I would encourage you to go see a barber, especially one that specializes in beards and facial hair. My reasoning here is straight up simple. This guy has seen more beards in the last year than you have probably seen in your entire life. Seriously, in the realm of barbers, if he just happens to be average, he will still have seen, trimmed, and worked on at least hundreds of beards over the last year. And some of these professionals have worked with thousands of men over the years. So, not only is he going to be able to give you a good trim, but he's probably going to be able to give you some ideas and point out, you know what? I noticed that you're doing this. Have you ever considered going with this style, trimming it this way? Maybe even adding a bit of color. Because yes, I'm going to broach the subject. If your facial hair has gray in it. Straight up, gents, nothing is going to age you faster than the Santa Claus look. And gents, again, I'm not saying you need to dye your hair, you do you. But if you're 35 and the hair on your head is still dark, but your facial hair is getting grays in it, let's face it, you're probably thinking, hey, I'm way too young for this. I'm not even going to bother with a beard when really that beard could level up your look. Now, coloring can be tricky. That's why I recommend the first time at least going to a professional. Seriously, gents, doing this stuff yourself can lead to some interesting results. But gents, if you're 52, newly single, taking care of your body, you're in good shape and you realize, hey, growing out my beard ages me because of that whole salt and pepper look or almost all the hair is white, know that you got options and there's nothing wrong with wanting to look your best. Now, speaking of looking your best, how do you match your hairstyle with your beard type? Guys, I got you covered in this video right here. Yeah, I did a whole video on it. So, go check it out, guys. Continue to watch. Yes, solid video. Check it out. I, I thought it was good. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Hopefully, you enjoyed today's video. I had fun with it and uh, yeah, let's keep it. Yeah, right there. Boom. Yeah, go check it out.